about to talk about non-binary things and the way that I intro my videos. Hey guys, it's me, Chasey Poo. I just shot myself. I already myself. feel excluded. I already shot myself in the foot. Bye. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be talking to you by myself, apparently, about non-binary things and trans things. And if my co-host for this very beautiful video would... <laughs> Back up. <laughs> hey folks, it's me! I can't afford the uh, sound effect, so I made the sound effect myself. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> My name is Ash. I am a person. I make videos yeah. online about LGBT education. Yeah. Um, I recently came out as genderqueer, as trans, as non-binary, as a whole bunch of squiggly cool words. But wait. Mm -hmm. But wait. Yes? Did you just say trans? And non-binary? That, that is me. What the? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, so today we're going to talk about how you can identify as non-binary and as trans at the same time and how that's okay. Because there's a lot of things that happen in this community. A lot of people that like, like gatekeep or like give attitude to people who are non-binary and say that non-binary people shouldn't be under the trans umbrella and you should just be non-binary or trans. Like you can't be mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. So I want to talk to you about that because it's an interesting topic to have, and I've talked about a lot of non-binary things on my channel before, which is fun, and it's really great, mm -hmm. but people get mad at me. They get mad at you? Oh my god! Because why? Because you're talking alone without a non-binary? Without a no. non-binary team? <laughs> they get mad at me because they don't believe what I'm saying. And it's not because I'm trans or whatever, it's just they're like, non-binary people don't exist. They don't exist? Yeah. So your audience isn't very, like, open to or accepting? Oh, no, my audience is great. It's just the people who find that video oh, somehow. Oh, okay. I see, I, I see. I have no idea. The little people who go down the YouTube rabbit hole kind of looking for this thing? They're like, and they're like, meow, 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 meow. let me look at non-binary cringe. Yes. Yeah, those are the people mm -hmm. that I get comments. So when I get comments on that, like, are non-binary people real? Mm -hmm. I don't even look at the comments because they're, they're all bad. Yeah. It's sad. Yeah, it yeah. is sad. That's what kept me closeted for so long. Oh no, tell me. Talk, well, talk to like, us. Well, just like internalized, um, I don't know what you would call non -phobia. it. Non-phobia. Non non-phobia. Non-phobia. <laughs> non <-phobia. laughs> internalized non-phobia, because I'm amazing. I have no phobias. None. No, uh, internalized, what would you call it? Non-binary phobia? Or yeah. what do you call it? I mean, I guess it would just be called, if you considered non-binary under the trans umbrella, then it would just be like transitively transphobia. transphobia. Yeah. But, so yeah, it was just like internalized ish. I feel so different, like, I don't know, it feels very niche, very unique, and I receive a lot of comments that are from, you know, de haters. Mm -hmm. Shout out to de haters. <laughs> but I'm really, susceptible. Real, I'm really susceptible to that stuff. Like, mm. even though I wish I wasn't, and even though that's not what I preach, like I preach that like, your identity is valid, mm. and we shouldn't gatekeep, and things like that, and that's really what I believe, but when people talk about my identity to me, every day, it can't help but sneak into my psyche. So for a really long time, I knew I thought non-binary identities were valid, and a part of me definitely knew I was non-binary, but I really tried to push it off because, because I internalized everything I read, and because I didn't want the negative attention, and because I thought maybe I could just like ignore that part of myself. It, maybe it's manageable to not, um, come out yes. and tell people. And be, yeah, me. Be you inside, yeah. but not outside. Or even be <laughs> me inside. Like, I could, I was uh, just trying really hard to pretend that wasn't the case. Because, like, mm. I was doing okay. I wasn't, like, for a while I was doing okay. Oh, like, no. I, like, I wasn't, like, super happy. I was, like, dealing with a lot. I was going to gender therapy. I was thinking about, it, it was always in the back of my mind. I was hanging in there. I yeah. was doing okay. You're not you. Right, uh huh. And I thought, well, if, yeah. if I'm hanging in there now, I could just hang in there forever. Mm. Isn't that sad? Mm. I know. But then, but then, but then, one day, I wanted to do more than just hang in there. You wanted to like be happy and be yeah. totally me. Yeah. And so that I thought sense. about that, and then I became too scared to actually do it. And then, mm. and then, and then, it, then I got to this point where I was like, no. Um, I'm not happy. This isn't okay. And I wasn't like it was it wasn't manageable. It was actually pretty miserable for a while. So then I was like, okay, I have to like do something. Yeah. Come out. Uh huh. So all the like non-binary transphobia is what kept me closeted for so long because I really didn't want to deal with it. 
I wasn't looking for that kind of attention. I'm, I wasn't looking for like, guys, I am non-binary. This is my struggle. This is like my, my, my whatever. I feel like a lot of people think that's why non-binary people are the way they are and yeah. come out. Yes. Because they don't think it's real. Um, that they want these oppression points. That they want, I don't know, to be special. They want to be the, a snowflake. And I want the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not what you got because you have people making videos about you yeah. and like talking about mm -hmm. like, Oh, now you're trans, mm -hmm. and you were non-binary before. You can't be both, and they're just kind of yeah. The, all the things that you internalize are now saying to you, and you knew this was gonna happen, and you're just like, can I just live my life? But yes! being a content creator, TM, uh -huh. you can't live your life. Everything right. is online, which is okay. Uh -huh. But it would be okay if there wasn't people that were just like at your throat of your identity every single day, being like, actually, you aren't like this because this doesn't exist. It's like, but I'm. Telling you how I feel. Uh, and there's no way to convince yeah. you. You yeah. can't prove something that can't be proven. There's no like test I can do to be like, see, I am non-binary. Yeah. I can't like do a genetic thing or like I can't like show you that I'm. You, just, you either have to believe me or you don't. And that's just where we are. There's yeah. nothing that can be done. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it also doesn't hurt you to just go go with right. it. Like even if you don't believe it, maybe just accept it. Maybe that's a thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you came out in like a like a like a. I would say like it took a long time for you to come out because you kind of left little breadcrumbs here and there like hint hint. I was dipping my toes in the water for sure. Yes, and yeah. I like that. Uh -huh. I like that you kind of talked about that but uh -huh. not really. Uh -huh. Like it was like here's a subtle little hint in like the bio of your book or something like that. I was like, oh, this is interesting. It's just a little, Oh, cool. who knows? Like I'm exploring, uh -huh. which is great because no uh -huh. one really talks about like, I'm confused. I don't know who I am. Let me figure it out. Right. People usually just internalize that and they're like, uh, until eventually like, okay, I just gotta, I just gotta tell people. Yeah. yeah. And then they make a video that they're like, hey guys, I'm starting tea tomorrow and I'm getting top surgery next month. Yeah. I'm trans. And yeah. then people are like, uh, but you just transitioned. It's like, yeah. it took years nope. to get to it's this point. It's been ruined. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you made a video, uh, how many months ago? Like two months ago, maybe a month ago? Yeah. Saying, either in, I'm trans. I think it was in November. I think it was in November. So okay. I guess that would make it November, December. Yeah, like two and a half months ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you made that video and it was, I'm trans. And I was like, well, we all knew this. And I was right. like, <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. But I think it was good that you, like, you said, what you have been feeling for such a long time uh -huh. and what a lot of people were like I'm can I don't know like how do you identify you kind of like help people now oh now I know how you identify yeah because you were kind of like a squiggle without a squiggle you yeah like a, like a sure yeah or yeah a squiggle and I wasn't explicit about what words I was comfortable using yes. so people might be like oh I don't know actually what pronouns Ash uses yes or Ash has a gender yeah <laughs> just don't know what it is yes. <laughs> yeah exactly so I was like okay guys yes. like okay folks Th these are the things. Folks. Yeah. I know guys, I said guys, I know. really corrected to folks. Uh, I'm trying to. Really I know. Hard. Yeah. But okay. you say guys all the time because you don't even try or care. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, what pronouns do you use? We should have talked about this in the beginning because people are going to be like, but, and then I realized it doesn't really matter because you are pronoun indifferent. But what is that? So I'm comfortable with any and or all pronouns. Because I feel, you know how some people, you know how agender people, some agender people feel that they are either without gender, they are genderless, yes. or they feel gender neutral. Mm -hmm. I often feel the opposite, the antithesis. All genders. I feel so much gender. Oh my god. Yeah. I feel so much gender. Oh my god. Make that someone's senior quote in your yearbook. I I love I it. Do. I feel so much gender. Huh. Uh huh. So that's why. Every pronoun sounds great to me. I think the only thing that would make me feel dysphoric or weird or uncomfy is when people probably only, when they exclusively and often use she pronouns because then I just feel like- You don't get it. That they don't get it. You don't get it. And that my my so much gender is being ignored. Mm. And usually I feel a lot of gender euphoria. Like I think in the living room, I think you used he for me for a second or maybe you didn't. I'm sure, maybe. I think, I think you yeah. did. <laughs> yes! Yeah. Cause, cause yeah. Because it's easier just to stick with she. Oh, I just use they. Yeah, they yeah. is cool too. Yeah, yeah that's what I've I been don't, using. Because a lot of yeah. people don't use they either. They just like, just use she. I think a lot of people don't know how to use they. Yeah. So I have Zuja in my life mm -hmm. who's like super non-binary, mm -hmm. super they, and mm -hmm. I've learned how to use uh -huh. they for them. So now when somebody's like they, I'm like, it clicks right away in my head. So that's what I use all the time. So it's easy for me to use that for you. Right. Yes. Uh -huh. But if you were like, actually, can you use these pronouns? Okay, whatever you want. Whatever makes you comfortable. 
in like who in, cares about me right and in, my comfort level I, I don't care about you <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> I keep interrupting I'm like who cares about me and my comfort level as I'm interrupting you wow no you're fine privilege sometimes I get excited so I might actually interrupt you a lot and there'll be comments that are like I should let Chase talk I get that a lot in oh my class. god I get yeah. no I like Sometimes I um you talk over Aaron all the time in the on the podcast, but I'm like, but we were having a conversation. Right. It was, it was and we're passionate. And we're I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not offended if you interrupt me. Next time I'll whoop out. Okay. Saying. Good. I think in a perfect world, though, like every pronoun. This is so much to ask for people, which is why I don't ask it. But like every pronoun would be used like interchangeably and equally. Oh. But like that's like I could never. I don't think I could ever expect that from anyone. Obviously. In, in your life, for you, yes. or for everyone, for me, okay, so I'm like, for me, I'm like, ah, no, 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 you can, use, no, <laughs> yeah, you, can, yeah. you, can use, you can and should use whatever pronoun yeah. I give you permission to. You're welcome. Thank you. Whatever pronoun you like. Thank for you. me, like it would be dope if like she's and he's and they's were like L- literally all being used to refer to me all the time, mixy uppy. And it wouldn't confuse people because I feel like a lot of people are like, but that's confusing because then who are you talking about? Fair enough. Yeah. Like uh, you, you're, you're. I suppose you're right. But I feel like it would get, it wouldn't be confusing if, with a little practice, and if you like, yeah. I don't know, got to know me and things yeah. like that. I used to think they pronouns were really hard. Oh yeah. Oh um, yeah. Oh yeah. Until I hung out with Chandler. Oh. Because then I had to exclusive. All it was just like jumping in the pool. Like I was thrown in the pool. You know. Oh yeah. I didn't have the practice. I didn't know how to swim with just them they pronouns. And then I had to, yeah. because that's those are the pronouns they use. Yes. And it was actually much easier that I still messed up sometimes, but it was much easier than I expected. I feel like people just get intimidated so they don't try. Yes. If you try it, it's yeah, actually yeah, yeah. it's quite a bit easier. Yeah. Like try it for two days. I literally have an entire video on how to, how to start using they pronouns, and I use Zuja as an example because I kept messing up because I didn't know how to do it. So in my head I was like Zuja, they, Zuja, they, Zuja, nonstop say sure. their name with they. Yeah. So now I always associated them with they, so now I don't mess up. And when other people say like she or something like they, right away like it just comes out. I'm like oh yeah. reflex. <laughs> <laughs> So tell me, uh-huh. tell me a thing. Why do you identify as trans? Also, like, why did you make a video titled "I'm Trans"? Why did you do that? And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not being a mean person right now. I'm literally asking because people are gonna be like, "But you're non-binary," mm-hmm. like, and you're using interchangeable pronouns. That means you're not trans. Tell the people. I know why. I'm just come on, guys, come on, guys. Oh. <laughs> to me, trans means being a gender that isn't the same as the sex and or gender you were assigned at birth. Yes, that's, yeah. So that's what I am. So I'm trans. Yes. Yeah. And for a long time, I would say I was questioning or genderqueer. Mm-hmm. And for a long time, I'd convinced myself that I just wasn't comfortable using the word trans. It mm-hmm. actually just came from a lot of internalized transphobia. Oh, yeah. I didn't feel trans enough. Finally. Uh, whoop, out of this world is... I, yeah. No, no, no. I just, no, I, no, no, no. I've been talking uh, about this whole not uh-huh. feeling trans enough for literally like seven years. And it's just... It's still a thing. I, yeah. For, it just sucks. So it came in phases. So first, I truly like had these internalized psyche ideas that I wasn't trans enough. Then finally, I said, screw that. I am trans because I fit the definition of trans. And I feel trans. So then I accepted it within myself. But then I thought, phase two, well I'm still not going to come out because I'm going to get a, get a ton of shit mm. and I just don't want to deal with it. Yeah. So I'll just try to fly under the radar. And I was like, oh, this feels miserable. Okay, be yourself. So those were like all the phases. So I, yeah, so I feel trans just because I fit the definition of trans. And sometimes I think that there's like this little magic about a word that either clicks with a person or doesn't click. Mm. It's kind of like why some people prefer to call themselves pan versus bi versus multisexual. Some words just feel like you and some words don't. Even if definitionally they fit you or they're like synonyms to each other, you might still prefer one word versus another. So another reason that I identify with trans is because it feels right to me. Other non-binary people might not identify with trans, even yes. if, I don't know, technically they would yeah. kind of fit the definition. Yeah. yeah. No, I know, I know a bunch of people mm-hmm. who are non-binary but don't identify as trans. Mm-hmm. You know, like mm-hmm. that exists and that's fine. Mm-hmm. That you one that's fine. You can be mm-hmm. trans and non-binary and say that you're trans. And I love when binary folks like use their platform and use their voice to advocate for and with non-binary folks because we need those voices. Mm-hmm. So like I am a non-binary gender queer human being like asking you right now if you're binary to like use your voice and be um, an ally. 
I know a lot of people are worried about taking up space and things, but we need your voices. Yeah. So. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. You're very welcome. I had a lot of fun. We have so many collabs planned. So many. I'm, I'm so excited. excited. We're excited. Okay, that's it. I don't really know what to say. If you have anything that you'd like me to talk about in the future, or maybe if we do collabs in the future again, if you come back here, I go to you. I should go to you. Yeah. I'll go to you. Mm -hmm. I'll go to you. Then we'll do those together. Thank you for joining me. We have um, we have a gay bar that has a giant uh, dick. It's literally, it's massive, and you can put a quarter in it and write it. And I just like think of you because I just feel like... You think of you, you think of me when you're riding the wiener. When I'm riding the wiener, I think of you. But last! That is my one life goal I can die now. So come to Minneapolis. I will. Ride the wiener. <laughs> Tagline, ride the wiener. Okay, I love you folks. I love you folks. Thank you folks for watching. Have you folks are wonderful. Day. Have a great Have a great Okay, I love you. Good night. Bye. <laughs>